there. So today we are going to be talking about Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. Now they do this twice a year, once in the spring and then once in the fall. And there are literally 21 days of beauty that goes up to 50% off. So that's a really great discount, especially with makeup. You know, that doesn't, that doesn't come around very often. And I think that Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I prefer it a lot more over Sephora's like 15 or 20% off if, if you're like me, a VIB. Um, but we will go ahead and start because there are a lot of products to talk about. Um, some products I'll just skip over because I maybe I don't know much about them or I just don't care to talk about them because they're kind of boring. Anywho, we will go ahead and begin. And so first off, I will say that it starts Sunday, March 17th, and then it ends 21 days later on April 6th. So here we go. So now first we have Sunday, March 17th, and they have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, regularly priced $23 on sale for $11. Now I have used this before. I had a sample actually to try um, that came in one of my subscription bags, and I thought it was really good. I'm someone that doesn't like to spend money on high-end mascaras, so even if it is a great price, I don't think that I will purchase it at this time, but I do recommend it. It's a really great mascara. And then they also have the Lancome Sills Booster um, Mascara Primer that is on sale for $13, regularly $26. So another 50% off deal. This one is really good too. And Lancome doesn't go on deep discount like this very often. This um, really does give definition to your lashes. So I think that I might pick this one up because at the moment right now, I don't own any mascara primers. And even if it is that one extra step, it really does make a lot, a lot of difference. So now um, we will go ahead and skip to Monday, March 18th. And now the Stose of Colors Desi and Katie eyeshadow um, palette. It's called the Friendcation palette. It's such a long title, but this one is going to be 50% off as well. So now it's going to be on sale for $27.50. Now this, my friend, is an amazing palette. And if you haven't gotten it yet, I highly, highly recommend this, and I really do believe that this is going to sell out quite quickly. The The quality is there. The colors are really beautiful. You know, you have that pop, those pops of color and um, your neutrals. It really is an all-in-one palette, and I couldn't recommend it enough. I got it um, a few months back, and I am absolutely in love with it, so please consider if you were on the fence about this one. So now we'll go ahead and talk about Tuesday, March 19th, and this Mario Badescu Botanical Scrub is 50% off. It's now $13, regularly $26. I like this brand of facial care, but I don't think I'll be getting this one. So, But it's a really great price, and that tube looks quite large. I don't know exactly the fluid ounces that it is, but it looks like a really large tube. And I know um, throughout the 21 Days of Beauty, this brand has a few more items to offer as well. So we'll talk about those later. Um, so I won't be picking up that. And then the Bare Minerals is on sale as well. I, I think that these do tend to go on sale, um, maybe not at 50%, um, but you you do have like the diehard Bare Minerals fans, and then you have people that are just like, oh, it's not enough for me, you know? So if you love Bare Minerals, this is the time. Um, I personally like the finish that it gives, but my skin gets so irritated with ingredients that are in it. I have no idea. I've never pinpointed what irritates my skin exactly. Nevertheless, it happens, so I won't be picking that up. Now, next on Wednesday, March 20th, you have Proactive, which I've never used before, so I'm gonna skip over that. And then there is something that I'm kind of considering only because it is a cult classic, but it's the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. If you go back into YouTube land, um, you know, everyone talks about the, the MAC Soft Ochre or painterly paint pots and these are the ones that are going to be on sale for 50% off on sale for $11 regularly $22 and I think I might pick one up um I'm not really sure I'm kind of 50 50 on that one but we will see either way if it's a product that I'm kind of curious about why not get it at 50% off right so we'll go ahead and talk about Thursday March 21st and the Becca primers are on sale uh, they're now $19, regularly $39, which is quite a steep price, if you're asking me. So if you really like these primers, which they are quite beautiful, 
um, they are $19. And let's see, there's the backlight, the first light, and the Ever Matte Primer. I've never tried the Ever Matte Primer, so I'm kind of 50-50 on that one. Um, I might not get it because there's another primer that I really want in the sale, and we'll talk about that later. So if you're interested in trying, go for it. All right, so Friday, March 22nd, we have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I had bought this one um, at its regular price for $49, and even at that regular price, I completely believe that it's well worth it. Um, I actually have it on my lids today. I'll show you. So I am wearing it today and I think the colors are so vibrant, so beautiful. It's kind of like, um, again, like the Dose of Colors, kind of like that one and done palette. You have um, your neutral transition shades. You put the neutral colors in your crease. You put on uh, that shiny metallic beautifulness on your lid and you're good to go. It's such a simple palette, but I think it really packs a punch. And that one comes highly recommended in my opinion. So then you have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion on that same day. Um, I like that primer potion. I don't love it. And these really go on sale a lot. So I wouldn't like stress yourself out to try to get it on this exact day, if you feel me. All right, so now we will talk about Saturday, March 23rd. And like every year, um, they have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So if you ever need to try these, because they are good, this would be the time to do it because $21 is its regular price and for someone like me who has really sparse eyebrows, you go through these pencils like nothing. So I would much rather, and I think anyone would much rather spend $10.50 rather than $21. So a lot of people look forward to these being on sale and I'm happy to announce that Ulta did not let you down and they are at 50% off. I won't be getting them because I, right now I have some L'Oreal brow stylist definers that I want to use up and I am very happy with those so I won't be picking those up this time. And then next we have um, a philosophy serum. Don't think I'll be trying that. And then a Clinique uh, favorites kit. I don't think I'll be trying that either. Neither of those excite me. Okay so now we have Sunday March 24th and this is something that I want to try. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed and Silk Micro Powder. So they're two different ones, but I think I really want to try um, at least one of them. I'm not sure which one at this time. I'll have to do a little bit more research on them. But they are $14.50, regularly $29. So I really want to pick up one of those powders. And then the It Brushes for Ulta are also on sale. Um, there are two specific numbers. There's the number 202 and the number 225, and these are $18, regularly $36. These brushes are really nice. The quality of the It Cosmetics brushes are really, really soft and, um, you know, sturdy. You don't wash them until the hair falls out or anything. They're really great brushes, but I don't need any brushes at this time, so I won't be picking those up. And then you have the Murad Clarifying Cleanser and Oil Control Mattifier. I've heard amazing things about these, so I will debate on that. I don't really need a cleanser right now, so I'm kind of 50-50 on that one right now, too. So I know I keep saying that, but it's absolutely true. <laughs> Alright, so next up is Monday, March 25th, and we have the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels that are going to be on sale for $7.50 to $15, depending on the count. There's a 4 or an 8 count. I won't be picking those up, and I also won't be picking up this long comb face primer. It is a great price, obviously 50% off. It's $21, regularly $42. Um, it seems as though Lancome products tend to break my skin out just because of the scent, I'm assuming, but um, I will not be picking this one up. So we'll go ahead and skip ahead. Alright, so on Tuesday, March 26th, we have the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighter Trio, and this will be $14.50, regularly $29, so I'm really interested in this one. Um, the third shade, the like bronzy type shade, I am not sure if that's going to be too... Um, deep for my skin tone, but I will go ahead and check out swatches. If that looks like something that'll be useful to me, I will go ahead and pick this up. So I will go ahead and check out swatches and then we will go from there. All right, and then now Wednesday, March 27th, this is something I'm definitely going to be getting. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Now $21, regularly $42. So now if you didn't know, it's a better option 
um, or a better value for your money if you get the travel size of the primerizer rather than the full size. With ounces and all that math fun stuff, it just makes a better value to get the travel size. But here, if the larger size is $21, I will definitely go ahead and pick this up. And this primerizer is something that I have been using daily and it has yet to fail me. It gives me enough moisture for my combo oily skin and I really like how thin it is, yet still moisturizing at the same time. So I love this product. I knew when I first saw it that I was going to get it. So now we will go ahead um, and skip ahead because I don't think I'll be getting this pure pressed powder foundation. It's $14.75, regularly $29.50. Um, I don't think I'll be picking that up. So now Thursday, March 28th, you have the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Creams. These are $10.50 each, um, regularly $21. Now these are something that do um, constantly reoccur in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I have a couple of the deluxe size of the Buxom lip glosses, so I won't be picking these up for now, but in the future, once I run through those, I will definitely, you know, look to the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty to get these guys on sale because they are really great formulas and, you know, very comfortable to wear, very glossy. I think for lip gloss, they are very long lasting, which is surprising. So I highly recommend them if you haven't tried them yet. Um, and then we will go now to Friday, March 29th. So this is something that I have been wanting for a while. You know, we all went through that um, warm eyeshadow palette craze and I wanted this one so bad when it first released, but it kind of got iffy reviews. So I just never picked it up. It is now going to be $19.50 as opposed to the regular $39. But I think even then we're kind of past it. I have tons of eyeshadow palettes in the warm spectrum, so I don't think that I'll be picking this up, but it is a really great deal, and it did make me think twice, so. All right, so then next, there's a Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. Now $40, regularly $80. Um, I've only ever tried the Juice Beauty um, Primer, and I do really like it. I don't think that a $40 serum really fits into my budget right now, but if someone out there loves Juice Beauty, which I'm sure there is someone out there, um, this is a steal for 50% off. All right, so Saturday, March 30th, we're almost done, guys. So this is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, now $11, regularly $22. I have tried the travel size of this. This is a really great eyeliner, I think, and it does stay nicely throughout the entire day. Um, I tend to have really watery eyes and I don't feel that this one budges. I would definitely um, you know, think about picking this one up if I didn't have a million eyeliners to go through, but if you're looking for one, this one is a great one and I don't think that you would be dissatisfied with it. All right, so now next is something that I've heard a lot about. It's the Mario Badesco drying lotion and it is now $8.50, regularly $17. I've heard that, you know, you have a pimple surfacing on your skin, you put this sucker on overnight and in the morning it is just worlds better. Um, so if this is something that you need or you would like to have, I, I have heard high recommendations for it. I can't personally recommend it because I've never tried it. Um, so, I mean, I don't think that I'll be picking it up either because I feel like I don't need it enough. And that's not me complaining whatsoever, I promise, but I don't think that I would use it up fast enough before it goes bad. So lastly, here on Saturday, we have the Dermablend Loose Setting Powders, and this has been in the past part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Um, I've heard really great things about this. I think a couple years ago, or even, maybe even last year, um, I was debating between the cover effects Perfect Setting Powder and this Derma Blend. Um, I didn't want to get two powders, but I chose the Cover FX and it was absolutely great. And I don't think I'll be picking this one up because I want the It Cosmetics one. I know these are really great deals, but I don't want to overwhelm myself with a bunch of new products either. So I don't think that I'll be picking up this Derma Blend powder. All right, so moving ahead, we have Sunday, March 31st, and here we have on sale the Urban Decay eyeshadows and Moondust eyeshadows. So these are the single pot shadows, and they are anywhere from $10 to $11 on sale, regularly $20 to $22. So I will go ahead and check out the, the colors that they have here and see from there, but as of now, I don't think that I'll pick up any unless 
one color really calls to me and it is something quite unique. I really do like their Moon Dust Eyeshadow formula, but I also have the Moon Dust Eyeshadow palette. So I don't know if I'll be dying to get these, but I will check out what they have available. So next then you have this Sugar Rush by Tarte Preppy Precision Eyeliner, which is really hard to say, but it's now $7, regularly $15. And I have I have not heard anything about this, and like I said previously, I really truly don't need any eyeliners, so I will go ahead and skip over that. And then the third item here is the Origins Travel and Trial Kit. I don't know exactly what is in here, um, but I didn't do my research to check because Origins tends to severely irritate my skin. Um, I remember I tried their um, overnight moisturizer, I, I forget the name exactly, but it irritated my skin so badly and it took a really long time to recover from that. My skin got dry and itchy and it was horrible, so I won't even think about getting another Origins product, which is really sad because I've heard amazing things of it. So if you don't have sensitive skin, this is a really, really great deal. And I love travel and trial kits like this of any brand because you get to um, do just that. Just trial those products and see if you like them. That way you can splurge if, feel, if you feel necessary to get the full size product. All right, so now moving on to April. That is so close from now. <laughs> so we have on Monday, April 1st, the Laura Geller New York Spackle Primers and Lip Spackle. So I don't think that I'll be picking up any of these primers, but um, I have heard that the Spackle Primer is quite nice. Um, and But Laura Geller has always been kind of a brand that doesn't really scream at me to buy them. Does that make sense? Not that they're bad in quality, but I just, they've never spoken to me. And I think we all have those kinds of makeup brands that do just that for us. You know, we're all so different, so. And then you have another skincare product. We will go ahead and skip over that. So now Tuesday, April 2nd, we have the Lime Crime Venus Palettes, and these are going to be for $19, regularly $38. And these are both really nice. I've heard that the, that top Venus Palette, I think that's the original Venus, if I'm correct, I'm not really sure. Um, but I've heard really great things about that. I don't think that I'll be picking either of these up, but I think it's a really great price. And I've heard through the grapevine that the formula is nice, but a lot of people either really like Lime Crime or they actually boycott the brand. But that is something that you'd have to research for yourself. <laughs> and then on that same day of April 2nd, you have the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. And this is, depending on the count, is anywhere from $8 to $16 on sale. And these are actually really nice. I felt that they were too um, they were too harsh for my skin to use every single day. So I don't think that I would ever repurchase them, even on sale. Um, it wasn't something that I really liked. But if you love First Aid Beauty, I am sure that you are super excited that these are 50% off because that is a wonderful discount. Now, with only a few days left, we'll go ahead and talk about Wednesday, April 3rd. So I talked about getting the Cover FX setting powder before, and this is the same deal. It's uh, now $17.50 as opposed to the regular $35. I really recommend this powder. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't feel that it looks very cakey no matter how much I use. I like to use it under my eyes, all over my face, and I think that it really does keep my face nicely set and mattified. I'm not close to being done with my other powder, so once I do go through that, I will repurchase it, but as of now, I won't be picking it up on this day of April 3rd, but if you are looking for a powder, I do really recommend this one. So now moving on to Thursday, April 4th, you have the Tarte Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint and Glossy Lip Paint. These usually are on sale. A lot of Tarte uh, mascaras and lip products are a part of the 21 Days of Beauty. Um, these are nothing that I need. I, they do really have great colors. Um, I like a lot of the nudes, the nude shades that they have, but um, I, it's not something that I need right now. And if I didn't say, they are $10 on sale, regularly $20, so really awesome. And then there is another skincare product that I've yet to try, so I can't really speak on it. All right, so now we have the last two days to talk about. So here on Friday, April 5th, you have the Too Faced Bronzers, now $15, regularly $30. That is such a steal. I am a sucker for bronzers and face palettes and whatnot. I think because they're so easy for me to go through that I feel like I can buy an abundance of them, which is total 
BS. But anyway, I am going to look at the ones that they have specifically on sale and I most likely probably will be getting a Too Faced bronzer. Not that I need one, but you know, whatever. So we'll go down to the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. This is $22.50, regularly $45. I don't think that I'll be picking this one up, but great, great price because $45 regularly for a serum, that's expensive. So now finally, here's the primer that I really want to get above all the primers that are in this 21 Days of Beauty sale. And this is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin. So this is, um, I want to say I looked it up and it was an ounce of primer. And I really like their, their strobing cream. Wonderful, wonderful product. So I wish that was on sale instead, but either way, I really want to try this one. And for $15.50, I am all for it. I will be getting that one for sure. So now we will talk about the last day, sadly. Um, but this is Saturday, April 6th, and they have the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara for $12. A lot of people absolutely love this mascara. And to get it for $12 is really close to drugstore price. So this is time to hop on it, guys. I recommend it. it. I think it's a really beautiful mascara, but I don't think that I'll be picking it up. All right, so now you have the Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery. I've never tried this before, but I've heard really great things about this brand, and they are quite pricey. I mean, even on sale, this is $36.50, and it's regularly $73. Yep, you heard me right, $73. So, I mean, I don't need something like this as of now, but I will go ahead and do a little bit more research um, before the day comes, and if I feel the need to get it, I will get it, um, but we will see on that one. So lastly, we have the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow Volumizing Eyebrow Gel. I just used um, a travel size up of this one, and I really absolutely liked it. I mean, Benefit Cosmetics does eyebrow products so very well, and the packaging is beautiful. And I don't need this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the maybe category just because, just because I can, frankly. <laughs> but that is going to wrap it up, guys. Um, you know, thank you for your patience. I hope that you saw some really awesome deals that you're going to be taking advantage of. Not because you need to be spending money on makeup, not because you need to add more makeup to your collection, but just for the fun of it. And I think that I will be picking up a few products. I'm going to be really selective with what I pick up because I don't want to overwhelm myself with so many new products at once, even if it is a good deal. So just step back analyze what you need. I mean, that's that's only my opinion. That's only my suggestion and, you know, to each their own. But either way, thank you for tuning in. I hope you're having a great day and don't forget to subscribe if you feel the urge. And above all else, don't forget to stay kind and be awesome. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye!